I know it's the reality that the vast majority of you that have found my channel have done so through my mushroom videos. They are by far my most watched videos, my most liked videos, my most commented videos, and the videos that generate the most questions that people have for me. All in all, they're the most active videos on my channel, even though they represent a very small percentage. But I'm happy to announce that I will be getting back into mushroom cultivation. I actually just ordered, I don't have it yet, obviously, nothing in my hands. I've just ordered a mini, a mini kit for growing my own portobello mushrooms from mushroomadventures.com. Uh, they only do these kits during the fall, starting in the fall, so I've waited all summer to get back into this because I really want to grow portobello mushrooms because, you know, all the videos I've done have been centered around, you know, white oyster mushrooms, and those are really easy. They're really easy mushroom to get into just every step of the process with mushrooms. And I've cultivated some other kinds of mushrooms in my life. Um, but honestly, I don't like to eat a lot of mushrooms. I didn't really like oyster mushrooms, to be quite honest. And I was mostly growing them because uh, the housemate that I had at the time was really into them. And we were kind of starting, trying to start like a mushroom farm business and growing for restaurants and whatnot. Um, that didn't really work out, unfortunately. And ha now that I've moved, I've gone, I've parted ways with my my former house housemate. So um, never to speak again. <laughs> gone our separate ways. So I, so that is done. And I'm not really gonna invest any more time probably in growing oyster mushrooms. However, there's one mushroom that I do like to eat. And, and now that the fact that I've gone vegetarian, vegan, whatever, mushrooms, adding them back to my diet would be a good thing. So what is the one mushroom that I like? Portobello. I like them grilled, I like them sliced up, I like them in soups. There's just something about the portobello mushroom that I love so much. Uh, now they're, I, I had trouble finding, like, buying, like, uh, spore syringes to, like, just start cultivating my own. And I'm kind of new to Portobello, so I said, I decided to start with a kit. So MushroomAdventures.com has a large kit and a mini kit. I was originally going to get the large kit, which is, like, $50, but for some reason, shipping from MushroomAdventures.com is, like, really expensive. Like, even the cheapest op option, which means it'll probably take forever for FedEx to get here and it'll probably kill the mushroom spawn. I hope not. <laughs> but... The big kit is, uh, it was $50 and then it was like $26 for shipping. So I was like, uh, no, <laughs> not for mushrooms. So I'm gonna start with their mini kit just to try it out because who knows if I've never ordered from these people before. And honestly, I just wanna grow enough mushrooms to harvest enough caps to get enough spores to make my own spore syringes to then, you know, propagate and cultivate as many portobello mushrooms as I want to ever grow and eat. So <laughs> I'm gonna start somewhere. So I bought their mini kit. I have no idea how big it will be, but it was a cheaper option. You know, it was uh, about half the, the cost and half the shipping. So still kind of expensive, but hopefully this will be the, the beginning, the seed, the genesis of starting a whole new round of mushroom cultivation, which will hopefully extend forever, forever. Uh, because, you know, so much of you have been, so many of you uh, mushroom fanatics have been very patient um, coming to my channel and then subscribing because I did all these mushroom videos and then all of a sudden I just basically have done a puppet show for the last six months. So I appreciate your sticking around and hopefully you're enjoying the other aspects of my adventure. But I did want to let people know that I will be getting back into mushrooms, trying a whole new different kind of mushroom. Never tried to grow a portobello before. It's a totally different, well, it's a, not totally different, but it's a different process. So um, we're going to learn together, starting with a kit. So as soon as the kit arrives, I'll do a video about like introducing you to the kit and we're gonna read it over and I guess do an unboxing. And then I'll do videos about every step of the process, like me actually like following the directions and setting it up and like it fruiting and all those progress videos. And then once I have harvestable caps, I will again do videos about, you know, uh, collecting spores, doing syringes, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then probably a lot of experimental fruiting because like I said, I've never cultivated that kind of mushroom before. But anyway, that is all I wanted to say. I'm excited because I'm finally gonna be growing a mushroom that I really enjoy eating. I know you all enjoy the mushroom videos and are fascinated because it is such a fascinating thing because mushrooms are so weird. They're so, they're like alien little creatures. And the process is so like, especially if you want them to do very like a clean process, it's such a, such a mad scientist, like scientist experiment sort of thing. Cause it just feels so clinical. And so, I don't know what, it just feels cool. It's like science. You know, sometimes gardening feels like an art, but growing mushrooms is like a science. 
So in any case, I just wanted to let you all know that that will be coming. So if you are new to my channel, please subscribe. If you come and hang out every now and again but aren't really subscribed, please subscribe. <laughs> please. And give me a thumbs up if you're excited about the possibility about me growing portobello mushrooms. As excited as I am. Is as ex as excited. Uh, well, I can't talk, so apparently this video is over. So in any case, thank you so much for watching, and thank you for joining me on this journey.